Uh, I bought this uh, hydraulic disc brakes kit to install on my 2007 club car unlifted front. The instructions that came with it were okay part of the time, but where it really gets complicated is where you connect the uh, master cylinder to the linkage that goes back to the existing drum brakes. They send you, this is the old spindle, and they send you the instructions, and you have to put this uh, new spindle on there. And the reason you do that is so that you can mount the caliber brakes over there. And mounting the uh, rotors, it's not that big a deal either. Uh, like I said, where it really gets complicated is where you attach the master cylinder to the linkage. And the reason I needed it, I needed the front wheel brakes, is I'd use this golf cart to go down to the river. And I needed better braking than the two rear drums give me. So right here is the part that I want to point out. The part that's really, really gets hairy and the instructions are not good at all on it. All right, you can see the master cylinder right there. And this little linkage right here, it, it ties into the existing brake cable thing. You take it out and put it in here. And then the uh, master, master cylinder is attached to this uh, clamp this bracket right here. And that's where I had a real major problem too. This bracket was too long and that master cylinder has to fit exactly because it's got a small stroke on it. So I had to modify this. I had to cut this off so that it would fit in there like it's supposed to. And what they really don't show you too is the best way to do it is there's not but four bolts in this brake assembly. You can take them out and just flip it over to the side. There's a couple electrical wires. You don't even have to take them off. And that gives you room to get in here to work on it. And like I said, it, it is, it, it really is hairy right here, right here. Uh, Cause you got that, that master cylinder has got to fit just right down here. Now your drums, your rims, they have to be these rims on an unlifted cart that are not beveled here so that your rotor and everything will fit in there. Uh, I hope that'll help you because like I say, the only real bad area was in this damn thing right here. And uh, and I had, I had to modify that bracket, like I said. So take it with a grain of salt, your instructions they send with it. You may have to modify some things. I hope this helps. I failed to mention the uh, reservoir for the brake fluid. This little reservoir, I got it back here under the seat. It's real small and you have to be careful if when you're putting it on, you don't want to run that uh, reservoir empty because you get air in the line. And, and down here where the hose comes in to the master cylinder, I highly recommend straight down all the way. Don't have a little dip in it because that's it, it just works a lot better if you got a straight drop.